Thanks, Nihad. Hey, everyone. I'm Shruti Mather coming to you from New York City on this beautiful day where so many fans are actually lining up to go inside to watch a movie. Let's take a look. Comedy ruled the box office this week as the other woman took home the top honor with $24 million in its opening weekend. This is big. You haven't dated just one guy in a long time. You cleared the whole roster. I cleared the bench. Hey, what's wrong? Housekeeper called a pipe burst in the bathroom. So you're going to Connecticut now? I'm looking for Mark. You must be his housekeeper. <laughs> no, I'm his wife, Kate. <gasps> Is this some kind of stripper gram or something? What happened? He's got a wife. And you don't think you can take her? Are you for real? I thought maybe we could have some dinner. I let you in. We are not drinking Cosmos and braiding each other's hair. But Captain America the Winter Soldier wasn't far behind, adding another 16 million to its total gross of more than $225 million, proving that action films are still the most popular among fans. Uh, I like comedy and action because, well, I don't really like those romantic types. It's like too touchy-feely. But with action and comedy, you see something that is exciting where you've never seen before. Or comedy, you have a good laugh, but definitely do it with company. You get to laugh with other people who are friends. takes this one step people are gonna die I can't let that happen we asked audiences here in New York what they're watching tonight uh, transcendence okay me and my friends are going to see um, Captain America we're going to watch either Noah or Captain America preferably Noah um, haunted house too and how do fans choose which film to watch like, the commercials on the TV look interesting, so matter of fact, just watch it. On TV, and it looks good, it looks exciting, we want to see it. Uh, I thought it looked cool on the previews, so, you know, we went in and we saw it. Because it's an action movie, the first one was good, so we figured we'd see the second one. We saw the preview, and we thought it looked good, and um, we just wanted to see it. I guess because it's Good Friday, it sounded good. Yeah, we're friends that... We all suggest different movies that we watch, and uh, we also see like uh, like trailers and stuff, and see if the movie really is that interesting, or read reviews on the internet or anything. And if uh, it sounds interesting, then that's what you decide. New York literally has hundreds of theaters, so choosing the perfect one can be part of enhancing the movie experience. Um, well, we choose to go to this theater. I mean, I like 34th Street. It's big. It's clean. It's nice. Well, this theater we picked because of the time of the movie. Any theater, um, it doesn't really matter. It depends where we are in the city, how convenient it is, and how accessible. Um, and that's how we decide to go to the movies. Coming to movies or to any theater, it doesn't really matter. To watch movies that you thought that were interesting or that caught your eye. So, yeah. Although you are in a dark theater, these fans say that the best part of the movie is the group experience, whether it's with family or friends. Definitely with company, friends, or family. It's, it's not really enjoyable if you go alone. So I think if you go company, you have a better experience of the movie and how you get to like talk about it later, see how good it was. It's like pastime, family, too. Um, I don't know, just the atmosphere, just the people that come here. You know, you see people from all around just come here as families and sit together and just watch, you know, a movie. Yeah. We have popcorn, we share popcorn and pretzels, soda, so it's fun. It's a great way to have a group hang out and, you know, hang out with your friends. We don't do too many things together. We don't go out too much, so we figured let's do it today. It was just another day. It's fun. It's like something you can do with your family. It's especially helpful to commiserate with family after a bad film. When you, when you're... When you watch a bad movie, you know, as a, if you're as a family, you know, you get to talk about how bad it was, why you thought it was bad. So, you know, yeah, bring some conversation. 
And what will these fans watch next? The next movie I have planned to see is Godzilla. Uh, I don't know, we gotta see. Uh, there's a lot of good movies coming out this summer, so you know, we got a lot to choose from. Um, I don't know, I don't know yet. I'm hoping good movies come in summertime. And it is gonna send us back to the Stone Age. In 1954, we awakened something. Well, there's a nuclear test in the Pacific. Not tests. They were trying to kill it. You have no idea what's coming. Can you kill it? The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. there will be several throwback films hitting theaters in the coming weeks, like remakes of Godzilla and The Wizard of Oz. Back to you in the studios.